Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is meant to be day one of Vlogmas where I was planning on filming every day for um, the 25 days of December and then posting on a, I think, three day delay. Um, so I just wanted to give a little bit of a content update um, that is a result of a life update and the reason why I'm sharing this is because um, oftentimes when my content is different than what I said that it would be, people get really worried, which is really sweet and kind. And um, every other time it's just been a scheduling problem, but this time it's a really sad thing. Um, my cousin Meredith died on Sunday. She is just a few years older than me and married with two beautiful little boys, um, who were very young. Um, and it was just a completely sudden and unexpected, unforeseen death. Um, the shock of it is just now starting to wear off. Um, but I'm still shocked. Uh, our whole family is just devastated and overwhelmed with grief. She, um, she was the eldest daughter of my mom's sister and, um, my mom and that sister have always been particularly close. And so I have always been particularly close with, um, my cousin Meredith and her, younger sister, Caroline, who is my age. And, um, Meredith just has this larger than life, really funny, like light up a room ball of neon kind of personality. And, um, the thought of her not being here in this world anymore is just so heavy. Um, and her son's not having their mom and her husband not having his wife, and her sister not having her sister, and her parents not having their daughter. Um, not to mention all of us cousins, all of her friends, of which there are so many. She just, um, just an incredible person. Um, I always saw her as a big sister that I never had. And um, when I was in high school and I was choosing where to go to college, <clears throat> I went and toured Elon University in North Carolina because that's where my cousin Meredith was attending and she loved it. And I ended up going there and I ended up becoming a business major just like her. And she was in Sigma Kappa sorority and so I ended up rushing Sigma Kappa, just like her. And after she graduated, she got a job with Elon and she actually hired me while I was a college student to work for her. And um, I have memories of her all my life, but none more than when I was in college, which were truly some of my happiest, most formative years of my life. And I have a lot I owe a lot to her for that because she was just such a influential presence for me during that time um, and really was like a big sister and I just followed <laughs> directly in her footsteps. Um, so today is Thursday. I'm sitting outside of the gym. I told Riley like nothing feels important. Like I don't want to go work out. I don't want to, but he said it's important, you know, to just some retain some level of routine. So, um, I have been thinking about it for the past few days and I think I still want to film some this December. Um, I still want to find pockets of peace and joy this holiday season and, um, something that brings me a lot of purpose and joy is filming and editing and sharing those kinds of memories. So depending on, um, you know, day to day ups and downs of grief and all of everything that goes with that, um, we'll see. But 
I would have very low expectations, as you can imagine, um, and hopefully I'll be around some. If I am around at all, it's out of desire and not out of obligation. I feel zero obligation to be here um, on YouTube during such a heavy time, um, but like I said, I may choose to, and I would appreciate if I do choose to, um, if you would just respect that everyone grieves differently and it may be helpful for me to retain some normalcy in posting on YouTube. Um, I know that I don't have to, um, and I might not, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Everything seems so upside down right now. I feel like we're living in like a complete fog. It's just awful. So I'm flying to North Carolina where the funeral will be held tomorrow. The funeral will be on tomorrow's Friday. It will be held on Saturday. And then I'll fly home bright and early Sunday morning. So when this video goes up in real time, I will be just about back to Texas um, after the, the weekend. Um, and... I really am glad that I have the opportunity and I'm able to go and be there, but I also just want to crawl in a hole and I don't want to face it. Um, it, it it's awful. It's just devastating. Her sons, I just, it's just so devastating. Um, and the heaviness of grief that I'm feeling right now is completely overwhelming and I just can't imagine what her kids and husband and sister and parents are going through. I just can't, it, this is just unfathomable. Um, so <clears throat> needless to say, my content may look very different this month. Like I said, I still would like to be around some. Um, But I don't know what that will look like, and I know you guys understand, and I don't know anyone an explanation. I'm just saying because I don't want people to be worried or wondering. Um, I think it's good to be clear. So I'm going to go try to work out here um, and just that's what. Um, but I appreciate your support. I have been sharing my thoughts on grief and just what I'm feeling and and all of that specifically a lot with my Instagram subscribers and I've been having some really important conversations um and just others sharing what they've been through with regards to grief and loss and sudden loss and it's strangely comforting to hear other people's experiences um as devastating as they all are just makes me feel less alone and makes my family feel less alone. So I really appreciate that. Um, I appreciate your support. I encourage you to just cherish today. If there's anything that's just, it was this, this Meredith's death was like a slap in the face. Um, of how fragile life is. And uh, I feel that one of the best things I can do to honor her life and legacy and memory is to just truly cherish every day that I do have with my kids and my family. Um, so <clears throat> I will hope to see you guys soon. Thank you again for all of your kindness and support, and um, we appreciate your thoughts and prayers and condolences so much, and I will see you guys soon.